so it isn't gonna end up being Jace into the mid lane for perks, and of course they have magic damage on the roster thanks to the rumble top. That obviously after the removal of lane oh, mid lane. Here comes a play on a Baker exhaust and Zon keeps oh. away from the wall, not quick enough to get slow. There's a flash to Chase! First blood into Perks! Oh my goodness! And Perks is able to get the first blood going with Chase! Incredibly good at snowballing! Obviously not level 6, no ulti to turn it around. Love the all-in and you said it, Kobe. Perks has been the best performing member for G2. And now mid lane again! Oh! Oh, the CC is there, there's really no way out! Two and his lane kingdom is certainly under his control. Oh, and steady. Oh, well, it looks like Perks is putting this into overdrive. Well, hitting Perks 2 was certainly going to be one of those. And look at this. Trick as well. He knows there's no flash. Flashes in for the guaranteed slow and then waits for Baker to try and move around to be able to land his Q. Very nicely played. Repeat focus here. Just seems like G2 are working so much better with Trick. And in the group stage, we saw, you know, them hesitate. He would go in alone, he would die. It's not been happening here in the playoffs. And I think what they need to do, well, they're going to continue to focus Faker. Can he dodge? Round three in the mid lane. Rune is there, and Faker pops the barrier. Going to get knocked back, staying alive a quick second longer. And it doesn't matter. 3-0 for Perks. So Trick is just capping the mid lane, and Peanut, he's nowhere to be seen. He's just farming and farming and farming. You see G2 on the top side here, they're trying to set up these control wards so Trick can keep ganking mid. He's coming now, finding Faker again. Looking for the play, 2 on 2, Peanut over the wall. Will he join? Not in range for the safeguard, but now a 1v1 Faker versus Trick. Not one the, the Ivern typically wins as Daisy now comes to support the rest of his teammates. Here comes oh, Faker around the back, the knockup turns into Faker, the barrier doesn't even matter. Kill comes through to expect. Nice pick up there as Wolf joins the fray, it means nothing. And God is feeding right now before your eyes. Zero, four, zero, Baker, all the deaths from SKT. What's a god to a non-believer, Kobe? A bit more the Ouch. Wolf down to 500 HP, flashes the wall, and I think that's going to be enough to save Perks' uh, thirst strike now. But uh, Expect might be the next one targeted. Can he get away from all of these ults? As if you look for their first kill on the board, there's the flash dodge away. Some of it, Bang still saving the ultimate. Not going to put it yet onto Expect. I am actually a bit shocked. Maybe it was down a few more seconds. I think actually that was the case. Did not have the arrow available with 90% of the way there. Now it's up, and they just shot him. And that's going to be Peanut against the wall. Easy kick in the queue. There's going to be the kill picked off. And the first one in for SKT at 16 minutes. And G2 gets something on the other side. Seems like it's just Perks pushing for the tower. So many sources of CC on SKT's side that G2, you know, even with that early lead, have to be careful. Going for Huni now, though. Huni very, very tanky, but it's in a bit of a three-on-one. Flash from the wall. Music gets followed by Perks thanks to Root Caller, but it's a very tanky gal. The rest of the SKT showing up right onto the equalizer now. Peanut gonna be not able to help this one out as Hootie falls down. The stun on Perks Redemption buys the time. Red Buff gets stolen. Nicely done G2, a kill in the opposing jungle. Hootie with the teleport is top side. Perks did get that down to about a half, so maybe that can be attacked again. Nice stun on Desven. No fight in the mid lane. Here comes a flash follow. Peanut wants to the knockback. It's there. Beautiful execution. Wolf takes down Sven. Will the fight continue? It's a 5v4 on the map. Hootie is not teleported in. Trick down to a thousand. It looks so easy when SKT he sets up a play like that. He's just chaining the CC and the knock up. Sven didn't even get to a flash. He thought he was safe enough. He did not expect so many members to go flying over that wall and just keep him in place. Perfect timing as well. Infernal Drake just about to spawn. Absolutely beautiful from SKT. They rotate Baker down to the mid lane. They use all of their crowd control in succession where we kept cautioning against. And now they easily, it seems, are able to rack up the second Infernal Drake. Meanwhile, on top lane, though, uh, Mithy has eaten Huni. Yep, decent damage there on the tank, still has flash, not choosing to use it to get away from the equalizer, burns it now and jumps over the wall, he should be just fine, expect though, actually wants to chase and takes him down, Hootie did not flash in time into the mid lane, a kill for Perks as well, but the chase is on and Trick might be dropping with this one as well, the slow is there, should be a quick two kills, can Zen stop any of it as Faker wants into this one, double kill quickly for Peanut, now mid the other wrong side of this one, pops the shield, won't matter, Peanut flashing the chase, gonna get that one picked up, Ben next one of the block, but he's gonna survive it, and will not that fight open. Bang is insane. Are you kidding me? They're going for Baron after this as well. Sven is up the load man defense. He knows it's a 1v3. He's got some room to work with. There's no hard CC left available. 
just getting us a flash away from that one. The arrow would come back for Bang. And it's still a lot of damage onto this Baron buff right now. Can't zone in, can't get much done as long as fight is up. It's him! Oh! It was a close timer, but Peanut oh. gets it. And SK team now with a commanding lead. The next big team fight, they have to win it. And then hopefully get something more. Maybe it's a Baron, maybe it's a few towers. Engage, going wide, but both going in as well. Only gonna get the knockup on a Minty though. Hoonie in the front line, looking for the tank. Still gonna be a nice taunt on a couple of them. Perch still winning in the wings. Can't find a ton of hope though. And Hooney, too durable to be pushed out of this one. G2 still got the inside track on the mid lane. But will there be much to be stopped for this one? Peanut, not gonna go for the play. There's no one around him. They're actually just starting it straight away. Uh-oh, they're gonna hope for a bad play out of SKT, but they're coming right away. So it's gonna be quick disengage and a quick turn around to get the fight to happen. Can they get anything to happen? Stun's gonna land on the front line. Peanut now in the front as well. Here comes Hooney, a heroic dive in. And a great knock as well. The follow through is in. Look at the damage effort. They've already picked up one as expect is dead. And SKT continue to exert the damage out. But Mindy's gonna be next up soon. Perks will get a trade kill for one, but Trick running out of health and Zven can't get much down either. Perks gonna hope to make a little bit of vengeance on this one, but Hooney's still on the chase. Peanut as well. The kill comes in. Triple for the SKT jungler. Bang will be felled. Oh. But Sven is next up on the chopping block. He can't get away from this one. Baker hoping to make the kill happen, and he will make it go. 4-2 to two advantage, SKT. Perks has been able to take out the back line there with the AD carry and support, but SKT three members control of the Baron area, and Hooney can easily tank it. Clever and efficient use of resources. Jungler not required. Baker solos the Elder Dragon. Technically, he does have Teleport and Ultimate available, but SKT on all fronts pushing in. Mid lane inhibitor gonna fall with one more auto attack. Down it goes. And SKT have cracked the base. 12,000 gold lead inhibitor likely to fall as well. Darren Buff still on for a few more seconds. And SKT managed to use every piece of it and hit boss. The real target here for G2. And look at that drop down. Even though, well, it looks like they're gonna force some cooldowns out of G2. You want to miss, he's gonna have to pop. The shield's still low on health, gonna get a quick heal to stay alive, but that's someone heal down for Sven. Even though you feel like SKT have been a bit, you know, slower, a bit more measured than usual, that was a 7.8 thousand gold Baron power play that they had. They clean up the map now, bang, out of man of the fight, gonna come in, not quite a kill on the wolf though, Perks hoping for an opening, not gonna have it though, Spec low, Mithy as well, the oh. kill comes through for bang, and another one in the back line as well, two for zero, SKT is gonna close it out right now, Hootie flashing up the Nexus turret, hoping to take them all down, and he will do so. Look at the kills, left, right, and center, the ace is completed, no one dead for SKT. SKT and the dominance continues as South Korea's SK Telecom T1 will close out game one.